Hi, uh, this tutorial I will cover uh, uh, samples of uh, domain model uh, design pattern. I have uh, created separate video for domain model design pattern. I have given explanation, I have uh, given some examples and please log into my channel and uh, watch uh, domain model design pattern first. Then uh, come and watch uh, this video so that you will understand uh, whatever uh, samples I am explaining uh, properly. Okay. And as per uh, uh, domain model design pattern there are two kinds of uh, domain model design patterns are there one is simple domain model another one is rich domain model first we will see uh, what is simple uh, domain model so you can see uh, there are four tables uh, footballers cricketers bowlers players okay as per uh, simple domain model we have to create uh, class for each uh, each table so we have to create a domain class for each table so if you see this one uh, we have player table so you have to create player class uh, player is a domain class and like that footballer uh, table we have footballer uh, domain class like that cricketers table we have cricketer domain class like that uh, bowler table we have bowler uh, class so we have four tables and four domain classes uh, we have to define so this is the uh, best example of uh, simple model uh, uh, simple uh, domain model okay so we have four tables and you just create uh, uh, four uh, domain classes okay and uh, i will give one example of a rich domain model okay so we have only one table uh, it has uh, employee table employee id name uh, phone email salary rate hours type okay but if you see this one uh, we have three classes uh, and employee is a super class and uh, salary employee is a subclass of that and uh, hourly employee is the subclass of uh, employee and the salary employee also subclass of employee okay so one table but we have uh, three classes so this uh, representation is a little bit uh, complicated so that it is called a uh, rich domain model and uh, in rich domain model we have uh, there are uh, inheritance and some kind of patterns and interrelated objects will be there okay so if you see this one suppose uh, if you want to fill a salary employee uh, then uh, you have to fill uh, employee id name phone email plus uh, the salary information so that's what this point says okay and uh, if hourly employee then we have to fill uh, uh, information like employee id name phone email uh, hourly and rates hours and rate so this two you have to fill in case of hourly employee if you want to fill salary employee then you have to fill employee information uh, plus the salary information so salary employee extends employee so whatever employee attributes is there that will be available in the salary employee like that hourly employee extends uh, employee class so whatever attributes are there in employee class that will be available in the hourly employee so the mapping is a uh, little bit complicated so that it is called a rich uh, domain model and uh, thanks for watching bye